1971. At that particular time, I wasn't too pleased about coming to T.C. Williams because I was at George Washington High School at the time. Uh, my senior year, they decided to make one public high school. I really, I didn't know what to expect, but it seems like, you know, everything worked out for the good. We had three high schools. Matter of fact, we were rivals. We found ourselves coming together, playing together, you know, in 71. Walking in was a little nervous for a lot of us because we didn't know what to expect. Uh, you know, you're coming from one high school where you was a starter, and then you gotta compete against two other high schools for the position that you had been playing for a couple of years, you know, so a lot of nervousness, and then it's, of course, more serious about, about playing the game. You know, we were getting off the bus and singing everywhere we go, we was very loud, you know, and, uh, and uh, getting off the bus, walking on to the field. And then all the players, once we lined up on the field, we took up over half the field. So we was, we was almost in the same side as the opposing team was, you know, so that was fun. <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. We had a player by the name of Darrell Blue Sand. He thought he was a professional singer. The singing kind of, that's, that's another thing that brought a lot of us together, because, you know, the, being black and white, and uh, people learning each other's songs, you know, and, uh, that, was, that, was, that was a lot, one of the main reasons that helped us come together as a team. Yeah. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough. Some of us that had never been on a plane were a little scared and, you know, everybody. I remember by the time we got in the air, got comfortable, you know. I know a couple of us went back in the back, got our little dice game going on. <laughs> Since the coach didn't know, he was up front. <laughs> I remember a lot of people waiting on us. Yeah, we was coming down, and uh, that was very exciting. I mean, it made you feel like you was a professional ball player or something, you know. I mean, they was cheering loud, had signs out, you know. Being part of this team, it taught a lot of us a lot of life lessons. And it taught us uh, how to respect each other. Like Coach Bull would always say, you ain't gotta love each other, but you gonna respect each other uh, as long as you're on this team. But a lot of great friendships develop from this team, black and white, you know. Uh, you know a lot of us kinda learn how to carry yourself in a respectful way, in the same way that we learn how to get along on that team, you know. It was from the beginning, uh, Things were a little shady, you know, as far as getting along. And we were high school rivals at the, at the same time. The more we won, the closer people mixed in together, you know, and start talking. From the beginning, the whites would sit here and the blacks would sit here. And we were given a uh, key to the city and, uh, by the mayor and uh, city council. And it, it kind of, they gave us the, uh, they told us that we were responsible for bringing the city together. And uh, so we took that at heart, you know, and over the years, we developed a great relationship with just about everybody in the city. He was a part of a Titan, uh, the T.C. Williams Titan Championship team. That response kind of helped a lot of uh, race relationships as well. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun.